GT7 has a new lap time challenge and this time we are trying to earn 2 million credits with a good lap time on Interlagos in the group 2 cars. There are two obvious choices for this time challenge. You can go with the Nissan GTR or the Honda NSX. I prefer the NSX because it's oversteery in its behavior which makes it pointy going into the corners. If you like a more stable car then the GTR is the car to choose. With these lap time challenges our aim is to be within 3% of the fastest time set to earn a whopping 2 million credits at the end. Racing in group 2 cars is always fun because of the higher speeds and the extra downforce compared to group 3 or 4 cars, but it may take some time to get used to. Once you get the hang of it though, it's much fun. So let's get going with this guide. Going into your lap, you want to get a good launch into the main straight. Approaching turn 1, we're braking just before the 50 board and turning in at the overhead sign. With trail braking and going down the first, you can really hug the left side going into the Senna S's. Take a big chunk out of that curb, but keep the left hand tires on the curbs for track limits. Shift up to third and power out. The NS6 has a high grip level in these corners. With carrying a lot of speed out of the first turns, our next brake marker is the small piece of tarmac after the 100 board. Brake hard and trail brake into the apex, going out of the corner in third. Again, we want to carry the speed for the next part. Stay to the left and rev out the gears. Brake at the marshal stand just before the 50 board and since this is a double corner where you want to hit both apexes, I like to shift down a gear just before and after the first apex and powering out while hitting the second apex. Maximize track width and rev out third gear. Where the tire marks cross with the curbs, start braking. Back to first, cut the curbs and into second. Small dash of power and back to first for rotation. Power out in second once the car is rotated beyond the apex. Again, maximize the track by staying left and brake at the green astro turf on the left. Turn in later than you might want to, but this really opens up the corner and allows you to go back on the power earlier. This left hander is full power in group 2 cars, but this time don't rev out the gears. For the final turn, brake just before the 50 board and turn in at the piece of tarmac on the right. I like to go back to second to get the car turned and go on the power in a smooth way. This minimizes the chances for oversteer. Try to carry as much speed as possible down the straight and stay left side, but don't go over the green tarmac at the pit entry with your right hand tires because that will result in a penalty. My lap time resulted in a 124.7, which at the time was good enough for a place in the top 300. Following up is the lap viewed from my in-game camera view for an extra reference and make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see my playlist with more lap guides for other track and car combinations on GT7.